Welcome to a new travel adventure with Java Walker World. Today we bring you the fairy tale travel destination called Sintra, Portugal. The front end of this video is filled with a few transportation challenges, but finally we arrive at our much anticipated Sintra Castle, also known as the National Palace of Pena. And today is the day we're going to go to Sintra. So we're going to take the bus and we'll share all that experience with you. But first, some breakfast. It's all good. It's a new day and we are on our way to a Sintra. We're taking the bus. Now it rained last night and so it's very slippery, which is why I'm walking so slowly. <laughs> okay, so this is at our doorstep. So you can see last night was pretty active and we are trying to find the little alleyways that we noticed. Uh, yesterday when we did our test run, it says it's a seven minute walk to the bus station and the train station for that matter. So now to just update you, we are currently in Kashkaj and we are on our way to Sintra. I didn't realize when we booked the hotel how great of a location this is. So we're just crossing on a red. But anyway, isn't that nice? So the hotel is just in there and off we go. We're going to be walking quickly so I will put you down for a minute and we'll see you at the bus station. As we're walking to the bus station, Frank and I are just chatting about how beautiful this place is and we were just chatting about, you know, how people like to get paid here. Not here specifically, but in Portugal, most of the restaurants and most places cabs everything they all prefer cash, cash so is king. cash is king as Frank says so um, I would carry quite a bit of cash um, and then when you're in places that you can use your credit card that sort of thing then do so yeah we went to have lunch yesterday a nice lunch and uh, he came out, so I figured I'd charge this one, split it up between cash and charge. It says they only take cash, so we've had a lot of that here, so you got to be prepared. Yeah, some of them will refuse to use credit card or debit cards, stuff like that. But that's okay. The way I look at it, if you pay cash, it's paid for, rather than going home with a big Visa or MasterCard bill. Okay, the train <laughs> station is not very clearly marked, but that's the train station. And that apparently is a mall that has shut down for some reason. So they call it the Dead Mall. And just very close to that Dead Mall is where the bus station is. It's where you're seeing all the people walking to. So we will just follow the crowd. They've come by train and now they're going by bus to wherever they're going. Here we go. There's the bus station, and Frank thinks the bus is already here. So we have to just figure out whether or not we can pay on board, or whether we pay by our tickets ahead. That we haven't figured out. We usually like to be very prepared. People are running for their buses, because it's another 40 minutes. The next bus. So we've been told it's the yellow buses, not the one we thought, on the corner. This is him here, this guy, 1624, and we're 1623, we need. Ask if it's this one. Oh, this is 1624. 1624, it says right there. I think this might be the one, ask him. lady is showing us. So we were on this side. They sent us over to the other side. Punta <laughs> Brigada. Oh my gosh, everybody was sending us to the yeah, wrong so lineup and the sign bus, apparently is they said it was very clearly marked. No, you can only see it from the outside of the station, not from the inside. He said Ta Beng Mercad, so I don't know where it's Beng Mercad. Where is it Beng Mercad? Beng Mercad means well the marked or well labeled. Well, 
No, it wasn't. 1623. So somebody's written down. Here you go. It's right here. It's right here. Aha. Uh -huh. On the outside, it's marked, not on the inside of the shelter. And so apparently 1623 is the faster route, more direct route to Sintra from Kashkaj. So that's good. We figured it out. Now hopefully we can just pay on board. Which I think I saw him, he had a ticket uh, and a... A pass uh, one. He says you pay on board, but I said cash. He says that it's a need, but yeah. we'll see. Unless you buy... I don't see a machine here to buy anything. No, I think we just pay on board. Portela de Sintra Expresso. That's our bus. So something just happened and we'll figure this out as soon as Frank sits down. So, lucky us. Lucky us. We asked him, I said, so how do you pay? Can I pay cash? And he says, uh, oh, this thing's not working. Just go ahead and sit down. So sit, for, down. sit down. Frank keeps going. So what's going on? What's going on? I said, take it and go. We'll sit down. <laughs> take quiet. it and go. And so we got, uh, we're going to Sintra for free. Uh, and there are people that were lined up to come in and you know normally you want to be polite and not butt in but Frank did uh, because it looked like they possibly were waiting for, for another, another bus. bus and so it's a good thing Frank yeah. has some some street smarts or bus smarts uh, and just uh, walked around them to talk to the bus driver so we left out this morning that so, excuse me pardon me get out of my way yeah uh, so at least our free ride will pay for our coffee when we get to the other side. <laughs> Little did we know we had plenty more we'll to see pay. In a bit. We'll share some of this ride with you. So this is the, the end of the line for the bus thing and then you got to go over to the center of the, of the town Would you grab another bus which takes you up to the castle or that that big uh, Palace or which is why we're here which is why we're here So we just got to walk this is about a seven minute walk to center and then you pick up another bus that takes you straight up there Oh, okay, so you can't just walk up to the castle. No, I don't think so, so. we've arrived at, at the Portelas the Sintra which is the downtown area of Sintra where the bus station is and which is right there the bus station and the train station we're now supposed to go to the center of town and catch another bus to see if we can get to the castle which is the main reason why we're here is to see that that iconic castle uh, that's so colorful here and uh, that's why we're here to show you all of that okay we had a lovely man explaining the situation so uh, we took the bus oh, and that's from... where the Portuguese comes in handy <laughs> um, we, uh, of course, took the bus, and I think the line was called Portelage de Sintra from Kashkaj. And uh, it took us to a station where the train is. Now apparently we have to walk a little bit to get to the local bus, uh, the local bus station. Uh, so he says it's not very far, a 10 minute walk, and you're there, and then you can take a shuttle uh, up to the castle. So, anyways, we're getting there. It's a good thing we don't mind walking. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Videotaping one camera to another camera. Whee! That is pretty unfocused. There we go. Uh, we're going to go and get some, some funds because cash is king. There we go. Frank's going in and he's going to take some money out. Great. Now, just a little tip when you're taking money. Oh my goodness, I look awful. Uh, the wind is something else. But just a little tip. If you are taking money out of an ATM, it's always advisable to go through uh, one of the banks uh, here in Portugal or any in any country you're in to go through one of the official banks because there are less fees involved. And usually the exchange rate is a lot better as well. So if you just go into one of those random, you know, store, variety store type of places, you're going to pay a little bit more. So that's where we're going, way up there. So they have sightseeing buses and regular buses that will take you up 
to that direction or at least a little closer. Base. Obviously this is their big tourist attraction here. It's what brings people here and it's very windy so sorry for the noise, the wind noise. But look at this. Oh, it's so pretty here. Here. Yeah, sightseeing tour. So these are all the buses here. Oh, there, over there. Is the Let's song. see if you can figure which one we're supposed to yeah, take. Apparently, that is a train station as well. In case you're not aware, Sintra has many castles. So we want one specific castle, but there are many to choose from. So this is a train station. So I would imagine a lot of people come here. Okay, There's a tuk tuk. 434. Oh, they're loading. Let's get going. Give you an idea of where we are. This is the train station, and we are waiting for Hena Palace, which is the colorful palace. And Frank is just buying two tickets. It was 13, 27 euros. 27 euros to take the but public you can come bus. Come and go uh, all, it's all, all day or something. Like oh, that. you can come and go all day. She says it's back and forth. And, and it just and does it take you to all the palaces or just this uh, is the Pina one. The Pina one, which is the big one. The, yeah, and the Morsha Palace is also yeah. uh, on this route. It's on this road. You've seen one Moorish castle, you've seen them all. <laughs> it's funny, they talked to us about our accent. Uh, they said, oh, you sound kind of Portuguese-French. <laughs> I guess that's because we're Azorian-Portuguese-Canadian. <laughs> so when you combine all of that, you get uh, Portuguese-French dialect. So this is what we got. It's a hop-on, hop-off, 13.50 all day tickets and um, you know how we were saying cash is king in this case she said she would take cash but we, she would prefer if you would debit it or um, credit card so that's good and off we go and maybe uh, well we paid for a hop on hop off bus we were thinking of possibly walking back down because it's downhill um, but why we paid for our transportation drive here because this apparently is a one-way road and there are a lot of tourists driving down it and having to do a UE driving a standard car and trying to back up in a curvy road so it's very challenging so I'm so glad I took we took public transit Ticket at the kiosk there. Where? Yeah, let's try it. We'll try the uh, tickets here. That one's not working. That one's not working. <laughs> Shut. There we go. Two adults, 20 euros each. And add to cart. Add to cart. Uh, check out. Okay, so let's explain what we've done so far. So we bought our tickets at the kiosk. We left um, at around 9 a.m. from Kishkaish. Uh, and uh, we- the local bus to huh. take us up here to Sintra. And that was, uh, I don't know, maybe 40 minute drive with a couple of stops in between. Yep. But that left, left us in town, which we still had to walk to the local bus station of Sintra to catch the touristy bus mm -hmm. or the hop on, hop off bus that takes us up to the castle up which, here. Which cost us how much? 13.50 each, so 27 euros uh, for the, for two, the of two of us. Yeah. And then admission here is 20 euros per person to get into the palace, so 40 yeah. euros. So the palace is the National Palace of Pena, so the National Pine Palace. 
Yeah, so the whole trip here is going to cost us 67 euros for the two of us. Just pretty much spend the whole day, see some historic sites, get transportation, and uh, get really tired of walking. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a lot of palaces here to see. You can stop and see all of them if you like, and I'm sure there's admission to all oh, of yeah, them. Oh yeah, I think so too. I uh, think so. But we're here to see this colorful um, palace and uh, share that with you. I think this is the more the, the, the more popular out of the three or four that are here. This is where everyone tends to gravitate yeah. to. Nothing against the other palaces, but yeah. If you're enjoying our content here on YouTube, please give us a like and I hate to ask this, but I must. Please subscribe. It means so much to us and it will really help us. Just we don't hate that. I don't hate to ask. Get out there. It's free. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Helps us all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the entrance. Just to give you an idea. The bus dropped us off just right there. There's the kiosks. Buy credit card. You do your own thing if you want help and you want somebody you just want to buy tickets there you can buy tickets there as well there's the main entrance and up there is the castle it's um, 10 30 now our entry is at uh, 11 and I think they'll let us in because it will take us a while to to walk up so let's go let's go check this out what he explained is this is a park in front uh, in like a little uh, oh, we got a trolley that will take you up? <laughs> And it takes, um, this is, it will take you about 10 minutes, there are bathrooms here, take you about 10 minutes to get up there. And it looks like you can take a shuttle, this is the parquet. Let's just look behind us so you have an idea. Just beautiful, and we can take this little shuttle that will take us up. It's a little bit of a climb, and so it's a good thing that we didn't just, because our entry was at 11 o'clock, we didn't just come in through that gate at 11. We have to be up at the castle at 11. Take the shuttle. It's another three euros. Ka-ching, ka-ching. So we are walking because we don't want to go back to the ticket uh, no, area. Do you? You yeah. pay there? Oh, you pay on the bus. The three, three euros each. That would have been another six euros. We'll walk. It's a ten. It's a ten-minute walk up. And it is uphill, so it's great on your calves. And it's a two-minute walk down. You slide all. <laughs> Frank says it's a two-minute walk. Here I go repeating yeah, what here you said. Here I go said. repeating. It's like my copy machine. It's the way my brain works. Oh, it is a climb. Well, we gotta get going because we have probably another five more minutes to get up there so that we get access to our entry time. So now we take the stairs, which in some ways is easier. Okay. Yeah. Dress in layers, absolutely. I've got a warmer jacket, another jacket, sweater. I have a scarf that I've already put away. And uh, let me tell you, one minute I'm hot, the next minute I'm cold. And whew, this is good for you, just push on. That's what I tell myself. Guided tour, and the guy is just full of information. 
so we're just listening. I'm listening intensively. <laughs> For free. Okay. What you seeing? This would not be good. And it looks like it's a very sturdy castle, so. We're in this corner thinking, oh, we're much higher than even the Moorish castle. Well, we think we found a quiet little corner to chat. Yeah, because it's pretty windy. Right yeah. at the top here, you get people here and you see their hair is just blowing left and right. Luckily, they're not wearing wigs. But the views here are spectacular. Oh, yeah. um, the cost of this um, entry fee to get it's in well here is it. well worth it. Yeah. It is sensory overload, like lots of color, yeah, lots, lots of, of stuff to see. lots of history. Um, it's just fascinating. It really is. And it is a beautiful, beautiful place. We My found, favorite word. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, we got, got to get you a thesaurus. <laughs> What we've been fine is taking about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to do the whole tour of the castle. No, so, we're not done. No, but this is just the castle. It's yeah. been an hour already, so uh, yeah. And it's not an old, old castle. It really is uh, fairly modern and well, it's new. It's old compared to... I mean, 1800s is, it was built, so, yeah. Yeah, so not uh, that it bad. probably took a long time. To well, we are done, at least for this castle, this part of Sintra. We're going to see if we can pick up maybe some lunch, find our way back, yeah. rest a little bit, enjoy our time here in Sintra, and then um, mm, we've got another adventure coming. So find out where we end Always up. on the go, we have ants in our pants. <laughs> Just want to point out, we are here, it is February, and you see how busy it is. So, if you're planning on coming in the middle of summer, June, July, August, September, be prepared. Long waits, and it will be very, very hot as well. And uh, this has been awesome to be here at this time of year, don't you think? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I would recommend coming this time. It could be a zoo here in the summer. Well, guys, we took our hop on, hop off bus. And we decided to stop right here, which is the Sintra Historic, Historic Center. Uh, so that's where we're going to stop. And we're going to see if we can have some lunch or some coffee or something like that. And then we will continue on. And we'll check this area out. Come with us. Okay, 
fechadas da Sintra. Green Fancy Coffees, aren't they? Okay, guys, just want to say ciao. See you next time. Thanks for joining us. Sintra. Of Sintra. Join us next week as we explore Lisbon. Here's a sneak peek. Sure, <laughs> Whiplash. Whiplash. A lot of different uh, buskers around. Apparently, they have free walking tours tomorrow morning. We're going to do it tomorrow morning. Everybody had the same idea.